Are you ready for this? I don't know. The lobby of the Children's Hospital might seem like an odd place for a walk. Excited. Excited. You're really excited. But for this Hanover County family. Yeah, it's a celebration right now. The one they're here for will only take a few steps. It's a good day. It's a very good day. As it's the end of a two year plus journey. It's surreal because it's been two and a half years, but at the same time, it feels like it was yesterday. That started when Harry Smith, their now 12 year old son, brother, nephew, friend, grandchild, and great grandchild learned he'd been diagnosed with leukemia. <laughs> CBS 6 first met Smith shortly after that when the Beaver Dam community welcomed him home from his initial treatment with a drive-by parade. We love you! Support they say that only grew as his treatment continued. There was a car show for him and um, the school let him drive his John Deere in the bus loop um, when he would have, had strength enough to be able to do that um, to say hi to all the kids because he had missed so much school. And extended to the staff at Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU. Took us under their wing and really told us we, they were there for us every step of the way. And they say throughout it all, the young man was as tough as the tractors he loves. Yeah, we weren't sure we'd even see this day, but he's been a trooper from the very beginning and um, has never, uh, I don't think he's ever doubted it. We may have, but he never has. Which brings them to Wednesday. Harry's gonna ring the bell. But is ringing the bell a good thing? Why is it a good thing? Because he's that means this is our last day of cancer. Attention, attention. Harry has completed his treatment. Woo! The family says thanks to God, answered prayers, and all those supporters, Smith took those last few steps. My treatment's done. My treatment's done. My course is run. My course is run. And now I'm on my way. Now I'm on my way. Great Woo! A moment that can make even the toughest tractor break down. Seeing him get emotional, that's the first time he's really, he's really let anything out. And that's when mom, the mechanic, who the family says is where Smith learned his toughness from, stepped in. Whispering in his ear that, that we made it, we finished, because um, at the very beginning, they ask if you want someone to tell them with his diagnosis, and I was like, no, I'm his mom, that's my job, so... It just made it surreal that I got to tell him that we were going to start this and then we get to end it together. And with treatment done, the family says Smith can now just focus on being a 12 year old boy. He can do everything like a normal kid would do now. Get to jump off the boat. Yeah, yeah, get dirty. Yeah. And little sister Libby already has some ideas. He can play tag with me. Is he going to be it or are you going to be it? He's going to be it. I don't like being it in tag. Is he going to be able to catch you though? Nope. You did it, bub. You made it. And as Smith starts on his next journey. Oh, geez. Uh, <laughs> it was, um. The end of this one is probably best summed up by his grandfather, Papa. One of the best moments of my life. In Richmond. And that's been 74 years, so. <laughs> Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.